Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. When we last left off, we had a battle with a big crab thing. I can't actually remember what it was called now. The Lurker of the Cave. Yes, yes, I remember. Uh, and we had to... Well, it was kind of an interesting one. That was um, very easy to defeat, but we had to lure him over the big geysers. Now this time, of course, apparently we're going to the desert. You know, the actual real desert this time. Which is going to be interesting. If I can get Argo here to actually cooperate with us for once, which is rather unlikely. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Good boy. You just dickhead. Now, um, let's have a little look. We're going in. Hang on. This direction. Well, okay, then. Apparently, the, de the desert's over here, apparently. I thought the desert was back there. Well, what the hell do I know? What do I know? Come on, Argo. You know, a bit of speed, buddy? You know? You know? There we go. Run. There we are. God damn, horse. You'd think we've got all day. Well, okay, we have got all day, but that's not the point, Argo. That's not the point. Mm hmm. Ah, here we are. Lovely. Keep it going. Come on, don't lose any of that momentum now that you spent about 7,000 years amassing. I tell you, Sonic would not be happy with you. No, sir. Now, we are going to keep moving in this direction, I assume. Let's have a little look. Yeah, we are actually traveling. The this might be a short episode, guys. Maybe. That is, of course, if we can work out how to bring this, uh, this terror down. Which, um, you know, is questionable at best. There's got... I mean, if we look at the... How many temples there are? There's got to be more temples. Surely. Look, that one up there on the hills, which we do have. You wouldn't have thought the temples would be too... Easy to miss. Oh yeah, I made myself coffee, didn't I? Ha-ha! Coffee! Nectar of the gods. Now, I'll go. Come on, let's have a little look for temples. Wow, there's like literally nothing here. Like, absolutely barren. And it looks fantastic. Actually looks like um, quite a few areas in Cornwall, to be honest. Lots of scenery like this. Especially along the coast. In fact, you can be very much forgiven for thinking that they've been... Cornwall to have uh, to have a look at these places. Been to many places like this camping. Although the one thing that they would have got wrong is the wind. There's always an awful lot of wind. I remember we went camping once, uh, not that long ago. Actually, was it last year? It might have been the year. No, it was last year. Yes. Yeah. And my brother took his tent, and uh, he didn't fasten the um, the top layer down. Um, and uh, I don't need to tell you, if we had, if, if one gust of uh, wind had actually made it under that, well, let's just say that would have been like hoisting the mainsail. We <laughs> would have been flying back home if you, if you get my drift. Or maybe not, you know, probably would have just, ooh, hello, probably would have just tumbled off the cliff to, uh, to our watery graves, but uh, that's the risk you take, I suppose. Here we go. There had to be another. Had to be another one here. We know that these guys like their religion. Too much, if anything. You know. And there's not enough houses of God in this big open space. I would say that's probably it. Yeah, I was thinking there's got to be at least one more down here. Down here, there has to be loads that we've missed. Up here, not so much. Right. Hmm. Oh, also, it's a fantastic time to um, mention that the Spyro Remastered trilogy has been announced. Uh, and I was looking up some uh, videos and whatnot of that. And that looks fantastic. Spyro the Dragon is, like, one of my favourite... Oh, there you are, you little fuck. Spyro the Dragon is, like, one of my all-time favourite games. And I only ever played the first one. Uh, and I love the first one. The first one's fantastic. Uh, and needless to say, I cannot wait 
to uh, to give it a go. Uh, now, maybe a slightly unpopular opinion. I actually think Spyro the Dragon is infinitely better than Crash Bandicoot. Um, I did have the Crash Bandicoot uh, trilogy. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's got some brass balls. You've got the biggest kahunis. Oh, you dick. You dick. What? Okay, that's fine. Dick. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I played the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. I only actually played the first game in the remaster. Um, and I didn't enjoy it that much. And I don't know why. Because um, I went back and played uh, Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation version. I really enjoyed it. I, I don't know. It's strange. But I did go on the forums because it, it just felt off, you know. The graphics were beautiful and the music was, was all right. Um, but the game just... I don't know. There's something off about it. And I did actually read on a lot of forums that uh, I'm, I wasn't alone in that opinion. I thought I was going crazy, but... No, there was something not quite right with it. Uh, and one thing that kind of bugged me, apparently... That was only the first game. Apparently, the second and the third uh, Crash Bandicoots actually felt spot on. Um, but they, they apparently changed some of the jump physics and whatnot and, and made the game much, much harder. Because I blazed through the, the first Crash Bandicoot not so long ago, but I never completed the, the remastered version. Hmm. I think I have some unfinished business to, to attend. I probably will get to it eventually. Right, so, if I was a big beast, apparently I'd be down here. This doesn't look very, ooh, it's another shrine, but we've already got that one. This doesn't look very deserty, you know? Unless we're heading into that fog, which makes sense. Well, apparently we're going, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, Argo, let's go, buddy. We're going through this tunnel, by all accounts. I also want to check something. I have heard... Let's have a bit of Jesus. I have heard... That, um, sometimes... The, uh, the lizards respawn. There can be up to three lizards, apparently, on, on each shrine, but they uh, they appear one after another. So you have to kill one, come back, like a, a few minutes' time, and then the, the, the new one will spawn. Some shrines have two. Some shrines have three. The game doesn't really tell you. See, I have been looking up bits and pieces on this game. Uh, obviously, I've been avoiding spoilers and stuff about the Colossi. Although, I have... Oh, God, that's fine. I have seen a few little bits, um, but nothing spoilery. Especially when this game was coming out. You know, it is impossible not to see anything spoilerific. And uh, I have previously seen uh, Let's Plays of this, like, I don't know, 10 years ago of the PlayStation 2 version, but I can't remember any of it, so it's not really an issue. I literally cannot remember any of it. Now, this is looking sandy. Oh, that was cool. Ooh. Oh, man, we're underground. We've got to fight this thing underground. Ooh, that's cool. That is really cool. Okay. So, some kind of sand bug? Sand worm, maybe? Sand... It looks like a tremor! It's kind of like a weird tremor with a, with a shark fin. Time to ride the mighty sandworm, I guess. How the frick are we going to get onto that? Oh boy. Um, right, maybe we should call this the Prepare to Die edition. How do we even find it? 
Hey buddy! Where are you? Oh god, there you are. I've come for your soul! Literally, I think. Oh, jeez. Hello. Getting a bit fresh. Shiv in the eyes, I'm guessing. Oh god. No, no, keep going, keep going, Argo. I'm guessing shoot him in the eyes. I mean, his eyes are rather large and glowy. Oh, shit. Yeah, he doesn't do a fantastic amount of damage to you. Where's Argo? Ah, good boy. You didn't die. You're too stupid to die. Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's right in front of you, Wanderer. Right in front of you. Like, literally. Uh, Argo, if you'd like to move your ass, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, we are in a little bit of a, a, a rush situation here. I don't want to worry you, like. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Nice try, my friend. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going, Argo. Maximum speed, buddy. Maximum speed. You're just going at a gentle jog. Jesus. I could run faster than you, mate. All right. At least the health does regen. It doesn't regen very fast, but, uh, well, no, nah, it regens fast enough. Thy legs cannot possibly carry thee away from its danger. Yeah, so... Oh, God. Oh, that is it. Shoot it in the eyes. Oh! Okay. I guess... Shoot him. We're not dead. Oh shit, I thought we were dead, for sure. Okay. Uh, now... Where the hell do we... What the hell do we do now? Oh. Fur. Okay, so if I was a weak spot, can I just... We can just run up his back. Um... Hold on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Right, okay. Kind of got you, I think think. So shoot him in the eye. Oh, and then he kind of does like a lunge attack at us. I got ya. I'm not as stupid as you think I am, son. There we are. And again, come on, let's maximize this. There we go. So he, yeah, he's got multiple. Right, let's go, let's go. I'll go, buddy. I actually need you now. I need you more than ever. Move your ass. Move your ass. Move your ass, horse. Fuck me. Jesus. Right, okay, we're good. We're moving. We're moving. Um. Um, where is he? Don't slow down. God, this horse is useless. Right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, well, it's actually easy, easy to shoot his eye. Oh. Okay. Right, I've got a little feeling, guys, that this... This one's pretty easy as well. Maybe we should start on a harder difficulty. Right, let's go. Come on, don't give me that shit. Although, getting to him, getting to his weak spots in good time... There we go. I don't know. That wasn't too bad, actually. Right. Hold on for dear life. Get ready for the stab. There we go. One. Two. Three. Come on. Get the kill blow in. Four. Yes. He was just starting to move as well. Mystery in the sand. These colossi, so far, I don't want to, apart from I think the second or the third one, have not been very hard. Um, which is interesting. Now that's not to say it hasn't been fun, because they have been a hell of a lot of fun, but I did think, from what I read about this game, um, that they were going to be really challenging and, and really um, 
complex and you had to work them out, yeah, yeah. Which is true, we, we have had to work them out, but they're not that complicated. Although I guess if I was a kid playing this back in 2005, how old would I have been in 2005? Um, yeah, I'd have been about 20. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm 32 this year, so yeah. So I can't even use the excuse that I would have been a kid. Thy next foe is... An altar that overlooks the lake. A guardian sets loose. It keeps the flames alive. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder guy, oh whoops, I wonder if we could, um, um, game, thank you, I wonder if we could get two down in one video, I was going to say, you know what, we'll end the video there, but end the video at 16 minutes, I can't do that, I mean, come on, right, so we're going to the lake, that doesn't mean that we're actually going to work this guy out, Guardian of the Lake. I mean, it kind of makes sense to cut it off, but... I guess, I mean, looking at where the sword was, I guess we're going over here. Where that big load of cloud is. Is... Yeah, and look, the, yeah, okay. So, yeah, the cloud has disappeared now. I actually really like that. That's cool, the way the map is clearing up as we're going along. Hmm, big fan of that. So, is this number 11... Is this number 11 or is this number 12 that we're going for now? I lose count. Let's have a look. Uh, status. Uh, yes, this is number 11 that we're going after. Hmm. Let's do it. Wow, if we sink this bass... Then there's only going to be... Oh, hang on. Let's let's try and... Oh, not quite. Apparently, you can jump onto those eagles. Or hawks, whatever they are. By, by that method. Right, let's go. Come on. Let's go over the bridge. Over the bridge and far away. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh dear! Careful now, Mr. Argo. Oh, this is a, this is like the best looking place in the game, and that's not to say the other places don't look good. The other places look really good, but this place is like on a whole nother freaking level. I mean, look at that. This is one of the few scenes that I've seen in a game that I can actually say looks genuinely spectacular. I mean, look at that. You're not going to get the full quality either, looking at it on on YouTube. But it, I mean, it's a scene like that that kind of wishes I makes me wish that I had a 4K TV. But then, if I had a 4K TV, I'd be playing this at 30 frames a second, and and that's just a sacrifice that I'm not willing to to make. Because 30 frames a second is the last kind of resort only ever take that if you have no choice. Now here's the thing, I have no real issue with 30 frames a second, you know, everyone's like, oh you PC elitist, which is totally not the case. I love my PC gaming, yes. PC gaming is my preferred platform, yes. But I also love my consoles, I really love my consoles. Um, but you, you cannot argue that, that 60 frames a second is not where it should be, and that should be the um, the focus of games. We are like pretty looking games. Yeah, we all do, but 60 FPS, man. There's nothing like it. I mean, this has got a high graphics mode uh, that you can put on. Um, 
but apparently like it's only very subtle the differences I mean it pushes out the draw distance a little bit um, and, that, and that's pretty much it a bit more anti-aliasing and it's like that's what you get the sacrifice for, for a fluid frame rate no deal no deal well this is fancy I'm assuming this is where we're going uh, inconclusive. Where did it say we're going? Like, on a... I'll go. Fucking stupid yeah. horse. Yeah. Uh, one thing I am looking forward to finishing this game is not having to bother with a horse again. I wish I was over-exaggerating, but I am not. He's doing my head in. I can't wait to not have to piss around with that bloody horse. Right. Oh. Okay, we're not going there. Okay, let's look in, let's just have a little look around before we decide that we're not going there. Unless there's like a temple in here or something. Oh, move your fucking ass, man. Jesus, come on. Yeah. Oh, this is painful. I hate you, horse. I wish I could put into words how much I hate you. But I just, I am not that articulate, sadly. Fuck this, man. It's ridiculous. Okay. Well, this place is beautiful. But I'm not convinced this is where we need to be. I don't know, though, because it's... I mean, this is a shadowed area. So, this area is very dark. Do we have to jump down here, perhaps? I mean, I doubt it. I, ex I really doubt it. Hmm. Nothing there. I mean, I'm I'm gonna guess that jumping down is doom. See, the blade has kind of changed color there for a minute. So yeah, we're definitely going in that direction. Okay. Alright, well, back to the horse, I guess. I guess our Colossus is in another arena. I should have said castle, but it doesn't really work in this context. We're not really in a castle. Yeah, I'll tell you actually what this game is reminding me of. Uh, it's reminding me a little bit of Fable. Just the actual foresty areas and whatnot. Fable was a game that um, I have a quite a love-hate relationship with. I love the idea of Fable. And Fable 1 was absolutely fantastic. Fable 1 was amazing. And, and back when the Xbox was new, and Microsoft was the new dog, uh, you know, in the playground, uh, I thought that Fable could be Microsoft's um, Zelda, you know? And um, we had Fable 1, which was kind of weird and felt very unfinished. And there were some quests that, really, and there were some quests that just didn't seem right. How the hell did we get out of here? Uh, which we later found out that basically Fable was only half the game. You, you had to buy the lost chapters to get the full game. Which was very foreboding. That, I mean, that's how all games work these days. Pretty much. Um, but 
then Fable The Lost Chapters came out and the game was incredible. Like everything about, oh, hang on, we've got like multiple ways out of here. I didn't know that. Um, and then Fable 2 came out and it like, I remember being so excited for that game. And I remember when I first got it and, and, and started playing with it, I was like, wait a minute. This is not Fable. There's something like fundamentally wrong with this game. You can't, there's no penalty for dying. There was no armor to buy. I mean, you could dress up in clothes and whatnot. Um, you've got this dog that followed you around, which was kind of cool in a way. Uh, and all the quests were the same. They're all silly little fetch quests. And when you had to escort people, you had to do silly things like uh, hold their hands and, and literally take them to to um, certain areas. Uh, you know, you had to literally carry them almost. Like, it was awful. Like, ah. Oh. I remember being so miserably disappointed with Fable 2. And then Fable 3 came out. And, like, Fable 3 was just Fable 2 again. Like, you know, uh, no rewards for quests. It was just rubbish. But then Peter Molyneux, I suppose. Peter Molyneux. You know, Fable was made by a different studio. It, there could have been so much potential with that. And I have heard um, that they've, they've been talking about bringing it back, which is interesting. I would like to see um, um, Fable come back to the original... Uh, well, to the original Xbox. <laughs> yeah. To, uh, to the Xbox. But... I don't know what they would do. Whether they would keep going with the Molyneux bullshit route, where... You know, you have to hold people's hands, and, and you can't die, and... Uh, it just felt like a kid's game, you know? Like an ultimate casual kind of affair. Whereas Fable 1 had so much skill involved. To a degree, you know? With the whole boast system, and you had your kill combo, and all that lot. We really should play Fable. We, we, I've brought the Lost Chapters on um, PC uh, ages ago. Uh, years ago. And it's such a good game. Oh, I would be dribbling over that if we played that again. But the PC -ish, uh, game has its issues. No 1080p support for a start. No widescreen support for a start. For a second, I should say. Um, and yeah, just lots of little issues. I mean, they did bring out... Um, Where the fuck are we going? They did bring out um, the what was it called? Lost, not the Lost Chapters, uh, Anniversary Edition. But they changed all the graphics, and the graphics are shit. I was hoping that um, the Anniversary Edition was just going to be um, the normal, the normal Fable with Lost Chapters, just with higher resolution textures and all that stuff. But they completely changed the engine, and yeah, they they ported it over and uh, put the, the Fable 3 engine in it and all that lot and it's just like, no! You fools! Why? Apparently we are still going over here somewhere. I am so confused. Well, if that's what it says... Well, we are almost out of time. Uh, I guess we're going this way. And now... This is literally here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, look at that. Hello. There's a path leading down. Oh, well now. Well, if I say so myself, that's pretty fucking cool. I'm a fan of that, guys. That looks awesome. Alright, let's go down there. Although, sadly, we are out of time now. 
So I have no idea how long this sucker is going to take to beat and fight. I really don't want to go over 30 minutes. Oh, look, there's a whole cave and all that under there. How do we get down? Argo, I have a feeling you can't follow. What was that noise? I can hear a really loud buzzing noise. I think the neighbours are up to something. Hmm. I'm going to end this video here, guys, and investigate the source of this noise. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And when we come back, we're going to go down into that quarry.